The information and advice service team are all professionals. We've all worked as teachers or trainers in the sector. And of course that's useful when we're actually trying to advise people who might be wanting to join the sector to become teachers or trainers themselves. It also means we know a little bit about what they're going through. The IAS service helps a whole range of people. It could be people that are actually wanting to join the sector as teachers, tutors, assessors. Um, it could be people who are already in the sector who want to know about new developments. And we also actually talk a lot to employers like principals of colleges, human resources departments, managers of adult education services. These kind of people who want to know how changes are impacting on their staff. We don't think uh, the information and advice service is anything like a call centre. For a start, we always give very individualised advice. Uh, we're not reading off scripts. We are professionals, we've worked in the sector, we know a lot about the sector, so we can actually give quite detailed responses to people. And the other thing is, if we don't know the answer, we'll go away and find out for people. One of the most frequent compliments we get from people is that they say, we've rung several different people or organisations, we've got confused and we've come to you and we've actually got a very clear answer. There were big changes that were introduced to the FE sector in 2007. A whole new suite of qualifications was brought in and requirements were brought in not just for those who worked in FE colleges but for people who worked in community learning and in work-based training. Um, so a lot of people have been affected by these changes, not only new people coming into the sector but in some ways people who are already working in the sector. So there's been a lot of interest about what these requirements mean to individuals and to organisations. There has been some confusion between the new suite of qualifications, which have got a wonderful set of acronyms, they're called PETLs, KETLs and DETLs, preparing to teach in the lifelong learning sector. Um, and a diploma in teaching in the lifelong learning sector and the new professional status of qualified teacher learning and skills and associate teacher learning and skills. The first set are qualifications which people might need to get. The second thing, QTLS or ATLS, is a professional status which people can apply for. They don't need to get a qualification to do it. For existing teachers, some of them are worried that with the new requirements that were brought in in 2007 that somehow their qualifications aren't worth anything anymore. That in fact is not the case. Qualifications they've already got do still hold value. In some cases, not all, they might need to get additional qualifications. One of the major differences that was brought in with the 2007 regs was that the requirements didn't just apply to FE colleges, it also applied to adult community learning and to work-based training. And so a lot more people have been affected by these regulations.